Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Phil, this is Samantha. Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Agreed, hope your day is going amazing thus far. And uh, hopefully we get to check out some amazing talent here by Sinead O'Connor for yeah. the first time on our channel. And Sam actually informed me how to pronounce the name properly. Yes, I was saying it and he was like, why are you saying shh? There's no H in there. And I was like, I don't know. That's just how you say it, apparently. And so. Apparently, that's the Irish influence there. Yes. And uh, I didn't even know. I'd, I'd heard you guys mention her before, but I didn't know that she was Irish until we did our recent video, The Cranberries, where we did mm -hmm. Zombie and Dolores, I believe it's the lead singer's name there. And uh, on the heels of that Cranberries video, you guys were saying that she had the Irish influence. And we had discussed about who did that remind us uh, or what person did yes. Dolores remind us of in the video? I asked you that and you got so defensive about it. <laughs> You're like, why are you putting me on the spot here? And um, we end eventually agreed that it sounded like Alanis somebody similar Morissette. that we both recognized and yeah. that was Alanis Morissette. But you guys were saying, you thought we were going to say Sinead O'Connor. Mm. So that's how, we, how we've arrived at Sinead O'Connor yes. is because she's another Irish singer. And uh, you guys were saying, oh, because of the way she was singing, she was keening, I guess. And that's a form, I think, of Irish singing. So uh, anyways, that's the story behind how we've arrived at Sinead O'Connor. Yes, yeah, so that's what we're doing today. And funny story with the Cranberries and Zombie. I was getting my nails done the other day and that song was being played and in the nail song. Yeah, now. I was like, wait, now I know this. <laughs> it's funny how when you you know what things are, you pay attention to them more, mm -hmm. right? Like, I think that's part of the issue with sometimes you guys like, how do you not know this song? And it's like, it's just background music where you're listening to something else in your headphones. So you don't hear anything yeah. nowadays. Right. But now you're, you've really, you know, you and I have dove deep into some of these songs. When you hear them elsewhere, you're like, Oh I yeah, know I know that song. Right. Yeah. So, but sure. before I would have never recognized it. Yeah, no Anyways, either. Sinead O'Connor, apparently a uh, very legendary artist. You guys were saying she was really renowned. And I think she had some, you know, controversy associated with her career. That's what we were uh, reading anyways. Not so much from like a, she did anything to bring it on herself in terms of, you know, going to jail or something like yeah, that. Yeah, no, I think it's more just her own uh, beliefs and her kind of advocating for what she believes in. Yeah, what her music represented, I guess, may have been controversial in some sense to some people. And um, this song here is actually not an original. So that's a little pop quiz question for you that will give you when we pause midway through we won't wait till the end on this one who wrote the original to this song yes. and uh if you know that drop it down below in the comments anyways i'm excited to check out some sinead o'connor you ready yeah let's do it let's go
Well, for starters, it's a very interesting music video. I mean, it's just her on the screen trying mm-hmm. to capture you, right, with her eyes, with her presence of conveying the message of passion that she's discussing. Um, you know, everything about it, I feel like, is emotive and evocative. And it, uh, you know, it's especially if you were going through a breakup, I feel like would be just tearing you to pieces. Yeah. You'd really be able to connect with that. Oh yeah. Like, I mean, she's really painting the picture so well, mm-hmm. um, conveying the emotion, like I said, it's in a, such yeah. a great way. Um, it's crazy because like you said, she's just delivering so much emotion from like just her, watching her face. Yeah. Yeah. And even the, the enunciation of some of the lyrics, like uh, I guess you, that's what you guys were saying. Similar to a zombie, the way she's using the emotion mm-hmm. to convey the message within yeah. the lyrics and the delivery of them is really important to the song and makes you feel the pieces that she's trying to portray a little bit for and a little bit yeah. more. Um, Has so, like a little bit of a harder hitting impact in like certain areas. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, so clearly my vibe from the song is that she's gone through a breakup and she's missing somebody and it doesn't matter if she's going out and partying and doing her thing at night and with other, other people, it doesn't matter. It's just uh, uh, not going to fulfill the hole in her heart. Yeah. She's still lonely and only kind of comparing to what she had. Yeah. Yeah. No, I agree. I think she sounds great. Her vocal is awesome. I think that she really does a great job of capturing you with her, like, it's just her face, like you said, but I feel like I'm so like locked in on like watching her and mm-hmm. like hearing what, like where she's going to say next, what she, what's going on in the story. Yeah. Because I mean, it's, it's weird because it is like, it's like half storytelling. Cause she's kind of ta- walking you mm-hmm. through what she's experiencing. Right. But then also, Personally. yeah. But then also half of just more of a generic kind of like, not generic, but like a, a more open-ended like breakup love song kind mm-hmm. of thing. So yeah. yeah, it's um I don't think you could get a more clarified breakup song, you know? Like it's really she's really just pinpointing the feeling of it mm-hmm. with the the song itself and the way it's composed and the lyrics. Yeah. Like it's a really great breakup song. Yeah. You know, or a uh, not even a breakup song, I shouldn't say cuz that's kind of you know, you're sometimes breakup songs would be discussing where you're angry or whatever. It's yeah. more of the heartache. heartbreak. Like a heartbreak. Yeah, song. exactly. That yeah. she's capturing in a perfect way. Yeah. And we're not familiar with the original uh, to compare it to. So that's another thing that we were going to tell you guys at the pause. If mm-hmm. we can tell them now that the original song and the writer of this song is Prince. Yeah. So we're not familiar. We've never heard Prince's version, but it'd be interested to see how that is different. Well, with that said, I could, I can, we've only done a couple of songs from Prince, but I could see his writing being transported into this version yeah you know it's, it's a beautifully written song but i can feel like the emotional emphasis that we've seen from prince in some of his songs being transported into the lyrics in this but i think Sinead is probably just taking it to a different level yeah from the way she's the able to standpoint. perform it yeah 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 for sure anyways she's like it. you said it would be cool to check out that other version as well but mm-hmm. let's get back to this one before we jump ahead of ourselves nothing <laughs> compares to you
Well, I mean, uh, clearly after we paused it, it got even more emotionally seeing her yeah. actually cry on camera. And it was one of those situations for me anyways, I felt like, you know, you, you are in that role and sometimes you over dramatize things as an artist to portray the message. But like that seemed genuine to yeah. me in that performance it wasn't, like, from fake her. fake and forced. No, it felt yeah. like she was like singing her soul into the camera, so to speak, and really yep. expressing her pain. Sure. pain. Yep. Um, so obviously it's beautifully written, beautifully well done. And, uh, you know, the, the way they had the emphasis on the ballad feel, the drama dramatization, um, from the use of the strings and that instrumental bridge, uh, the choir esque uh, feel to it really added an additional, you know, aspect of the ballad feel. Yeah. Um, and, uh, it was beautifully well done, performed, written, all of that. So fantastic song. The only thing I would say I'm a little bit confused by was the lyrics in there because she said her mama. Well, I think that like what I, at first I felt like that, but then I was thinking that if this is a cover and she's performing it exactly the way, not exactly the way that the lyrics, the same as Prince, like he might've been speaking, if he's speaking to a woman, he mm -hmm. might've called her mama, right. like not his mother, but like yeah. his girl. Right. So at first I was kind of like, what? Because well, yeah. I mean, it could be directed towards a woman, right. Uh, yeah. in general. Um, but I was just wondering if maybe we had in, got the, yeah, misinterpreted some of it or, or what? And maybe it was referencing heartbreak of losing a family member instead. Or, you know, like I said, it was a woman. I don't know. I'm just, like I said, a little bit confused. So maybe you guys can elaborate yeah, a little bit on that. Yeah, because I thought that too. But then in the beginning, she was talking about like, putting her arms around every boy I see and it only reminds exactly. me of you. So I was like, that's that, why that can't be. Yeah, yeah. That's why I was a little bit, you know, perplexed. Um, but maybe it's one of those things where verses are, are representing different things. Yeah, that's totally true. I didn't think about it. So yet. nothing compares to you in that instance. And yeah. she was in that verse section, she was referring to, uh, you know, yeah. a family like a member. different type of loss. Yeah. But um, the song itself was great. It's so mm -hmm. well done. And um, she did a great job. Yeah. And very powerful. I mean, like I said, you can't get much more powerful than that from music. So that's yeah. what you'd want. I can see why you guys were recommending that we had to check this one out. Um, and great voice, like in general, just great voice. Yeah, yeah. So let us know uh, if you have any additional thoughts and let us know if you want us to check out anything else. If this is her most popular song, this is where we started, mm -hmm. you know, started our journey. So I don't know if you guys want us to check out more, but we appreciate your insights. And uh, you can hit that like button. That helps engaging with our channel, gives you more from our channel, but also more if you want some Sinead O'Connor. Yeah. And uh, anything else you want to add before we go? No, I think it's great. Thanks for the recommendation, guys. Your recommendations really are what allow us to explore new things that we we don't even know is out there. So thank you for all the support and keep bringing those recommendations. All right, guys, two more videos tomorrow. We'll see you then. Thanks for watching, guys.